spend some second subscribe to my channel share with others and give me a like hi everybody welcome to my another video today i will demonstrate how we replace the manual remove control of the auto gate of our house with the RF bridge so that you can control by apps inside the smartphone or voice command using Amazon Alexa. This method does not require any programming or wiring. Okay. However, this method is not directly applicable for Telegram and Siri. We will do about Siri and Telegram in another video. Please also take notes that the RF bridge in this video is 433 MHz. It is a typical use for the swing open auto gate. Okay. For the sliding auto gate, the frequency usually is 315 MHz, so therefore uh, this RF bridge is not applicable for the sliding type of auto gate. Let's download the eWheeling apps from the App Store or Google Play Store. Uh, it's the same and available. eWheeling. It is free for download and free for installation, free for use. But they will promote you a, up, uh, a paid version. That will be when you are having more experience, then you will decide. For me, I decided not to. In fact, I reduce uh, in fact totally remove all my e-willing device because i have a better solution it's downloading let's open it okay let's allow let's agree as usual you may create an account using a, a email address or phone number but i already have a account so i will just i will just log in Login. Okay, then you will see an interface that you are allowed to add device. Today we are going to set up a radio frequency bridge with a 60 channel output and in theory or in my experience, a kind of infinity inputs which is we will discuss in the future video for the input. It can be connected to any uh, 5 volt adapter. I will just connect it to the power bank for today. First is to reset so that you enter uh, setup mode. To do so, there is a small hole behind. There is a small hole behind. Use a sharp object or in this case a pen to hold for at least 7 seconds until the blue LED bring uh, up quickly and then repeat. So now we are entering the setup mode, it brings uh, 3 times in a second and then stop and then repeat. So let's go back to our apps. In e-wheeling apps, let's press add button, select quick pairing, select one device. Uh, make sure you are working on the 2.4 GHz because it does not support 5 GHz. Uh, click on the yellow, we we'll like to know the location. Okay. Allow while using the apps so that it detected the uh, handphone, uh, your handphone using which uh, uh, internet uh, Wi Fi router, which is this one. Enter, enter the password. Okay. Enter the password, your password for your Wi Fi router. Okay, and then next it is now try to connect in the next uh, 118 second but usually far less than that the connection will be successful so you found a device with the device name uh, you can change the device name to, to a, a general name such as RF radio frequency okay add to a room maybe just any room you know or, or there's no room for now just done okay so you got a new device so called RF 
but at the moment there is nothing else we are going to add the our remote controller for the auto gate this is a quite a standard uh, auto gate remote controller in Malaysia or with two button button one and button two so let's let's show you how we can transfer the, the information in our remote controller to the RF bridge okay we have two button in the remote controller so therefore we will add RF sub device click the add button select two button device click on the save on the right top corner so the RF bridge entering setup mode with the blinking for the button one for the button one let's hold the button one for a while until you hear the RF bridge come out a P sound so the pairing has been successful for button one now let's go for the button two to do so on the e wheeling apps press the long press the button 2 until again the physical eye bridge come to the paling mode okay in for the button 2 here on the remote controller hold a while so that the signal capture by the eye bridge and learn see the second button or button 2 also from the remote controller also has been learned by RF Bridge which is stored inside the apps okay. of course you can change the name okay, for example the name instead of remote my remote change to uh, autogate in this case our autogate remote controller there is button 1 and 2 but uh, we just uh, make sure the button and the number has a space okay so we are done we have we have a remote controller transfer the knowledge from the physical remote controller to the i bridge and controllable by the apps the device that we use supported uh, voice command through the amazon alexa and the google home without programming without additional wiring or setup for the moment, it does not support uh, Apple Siri or any other or the, the Telegram command that I show in the previous video. However, with some changes, some programming, it can support Siri and Telegram, which is in my future video. For now, I would like to show you how can we uh, use it for Amazon Alexa. For a longer video on Amazon Alexa, how to set up and so on, that will be in future. Okay, let's go to Amazon Alexa by select from my handphone Alexa. Okay. From the menu, select uh, more and then select uh, skill and game. Some of you have learned uh, Alexa, Amazon Alexa from my class so you can try in this way select a search under the search select e wheeling okay oh my spelling is wrong but uh, it can be searched as well e wheeling select e wheeling okay the first one e wheeling smart home and then uh, enable to use okay Click the link button so that uh, you don't have to enter the password, you will directly link. Okay. Then we select close button. Select discover device. It probably take about 45 seconds. Actually found two new device. Okay, on the top as you can see to divide discover select view okay you will see the auto gate button one and auto gate button two okay how these two devices will be available for control using voice
Let's try to control using uh, e-wheeling apps. Select the RF module and then click on the button one. As you can see, the auto gate is open. If we click button one again, the other side of the gate also open. Okay, now I press the button two, both gate will close back. Now let's use voice command. Okay, we need to call the full name, which is auto gate button one or auto gate button two. Alexa, turn on auto gate button one. She said OK and the uh, thing is, the gate is opening out. Now we want to close back. Uh, based on my command is placing button 2. So now I will call her name to the speaker. Alexa, turn on auto gate button 2. Okay. See, successfully close back. Okay, so here's the demo. Thank you very much. In the next video, I will demo how do we modify the system and do some programming so that you can control by Telegram. With the same modification and setup, we can include into home apps of Apple iPhone and able to voice control by Siri. As always, Thank you for watching my video. Do subscribe to my channel. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.